Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to yet another Edu TV exclusive interview where we explore the voyages and vision of towering figures in the field of education. My name is Anine Sabat. I am a high school student at DPS Bangalore East. Um, before I begin, I would like to sincerely thank Mr. Pranav Duha Thakurta and Ms. Tanya, founders of uh, Edu TV. Um, so without any further ado, ado, let me introduce our guest for today, Dr. Pramod Kumar, who is the chairman of IISBN Group of Institutions in Pune. Dr. Pramod is one of the most prominent academicians in the country. He has held research and faculty positions in prominent institutions such as IIT Mumbai, IIM Ahmedabad, and XLRI Jamshedpur, among others. He has authored over 100 research papers and is a trainer in behavioral science to over 80 Indian and MNC companies worldwide. He has also been a member of multiple Government of India committees, uh, which basically took uh, initiatives on education, right? Uh, today, we will be discussing with him the future of education, including potential changes in the curriculum, reaching methods, and impact of technology in the classroom. Sir, welcome. It's truly an honor to interview you. Thank you so much for coming Thank on. Thank you. Thank you, Animesh. Um, all right, sir. So, uh, I actually have a lot of things I would like to say to you. A lot sure, sure, like yeah, sure, sure, sure. But I will begin with um, something pretty general and pretty big. So yeah. I think one of the most common things that we see in popular culture is this thing about school life, about college life, right? It's an idea above all else. Uh, mm. Your pure culture that you see in school, uh, that you see in college, you know, enjoying with friends, among other things. At the same time, we now see the idea that every student has their own pace of learning. So there is the principle of individualized learning. So do you think it is compatible to have pure culture and individualized learning at the same time? Both are two different things. Both are very important. Okay. The First, let me talk about the peer culture. When you talk learning, there's several things that you learn in life which should be learned as a process of, if education is seen as a process of development, as a process of development. So your culture of an institution, the peer group, you learn by experiencing. So let's say I learn certain attitude and value system towards a new environment. I learn to deal with many people who uh, I've never known before. Okay, and uh, familiarize myself. I learn how to reach out and make a friend. Okay, I learn how to stay a friend and deal with the with a someone who has different attitude towards life from mine, different habits, different value system, and maybe doesn't want the same thing in life as what I want in life. So I get beyond. There is a very common thing which uh, uh, people tend to have. I like people of my kind. But can I have the whole world of my kind? No, sir. Certainly not. So I learn how to live with differences, how to deal with differences, how to respect differences, how to accept differences. When I live in this world, we, we meet each other. You know, uh, professional associations, be it a school, be it college, be it workplace, brings us together. If Animesh, you were not uh, a student and Edu TV did not decide that, that you will interview me, we would have never met in our lives. Yes. I wouldn't have known who is Animesh, and Animesh wouldn't have known who is from Kumar. Okay. So the professional issues are one of the biggest 
uh, uh, in the world that bring people together. Because we have some convergence and because of professional life or schooling or whatever. The and the, those who come there, they don't come by my and your choice. So your classmates were not decided in consultation with you. Who will be your classmates? Uh, 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 was not decided in consultation with you. Okay. So that's an important thing to learn. Most of us in India do not learn this easily. We are very shy. We are very hesitant in smiling to somebody and saying hello to somebody. It doesn't come to us naturally. <laughs> Okay, we have more apprehensions about other people saying, well, if I said hello and the other guy did not respond to me well. Or we wonder, if I say hello what will the other, to a stranger, what will the other guy think? Okay, so we have too many apprehensions. We learn to overcome that. So that's important. Peer culture, the culture and work environment is important for you to grow. Now, learning needs. What are the second question? That uh, we learn in a variety of ways. We learn by through discussion. We learn through observation. We learn through experience. We learn through reading. We learn through lectures and we learn curriculum is just saying that okay there's a boundary to what you would learn in a given course or a given program it just defines a boundary for you okay so and each of them are very important now which part of the learner has a special need needs to be looked into True, sir. I, I think I understand. Thank you for that answer. Honestly, it's pretty, it's a very unique way of uh, looking at things, I must say. Ladies and gentlemen, our students of Delhi Public School, Bangla East, we, Ashriya and Melanie, are excited to announce that Edu TV has started a movement for higher education for all. We are proud to inform you that corporates and Indian private universities have joined this movement by offering scholarships to eligible schools across the Indian subcontinent, Southeast Asia, Gulf countries, and Africa. These scholarships are based on merit, sports, extracurricular activities, need-based, principal's recommendation, innovation by students, girl scholars, wards of defense personnel, daughters and sons of teachers, admission aspirants from remote places, South country aspirants, students who studied in war zones, single parent, students with more than two siblings, and students whose parents are not eligible for bank loans. This is a fantastic opportunity for many students and we are thrilled to see the positive impact it will have on their education. We urge other school corporates and universities to join this movement and support, support higher education, education for all. Thank you. Thank you.